642 right now across the country. There's a new training program being rolled out called Stop the Bleed. It's an effort to teach people how they can make a difference during an emergency. We've seen life saving skills that can be especially important for teachers and right now educators in Clarkston are taking steps to prepare for the worst case scenario and seven action news reporter Matthew Smith joining us live in Clarkston. So Matt, what's this training like? Well, they do all sorts of things, uh, mock drills, if you will, to pack wounds and stop bleeding. That's what they call this stop bleed, stop the bleed training. I mean, they have things like gauze that they'll use. They'll even explain to teachers they can take off a shirt and use it to apply pressure. And you have to stop because amongst all this, you start to realize you're talking about an elementary school here where this training is going. And this is actual training that is necessary for that worst case scenario. You want to pack into the corners so that you are able to stop the bleeding. Cause it's not what you expect to hear inside a school, let alone Alrighty, find that injury. We're going to take that tourniquet in elementary school. But in Clarkston, teachers like Blagitsa Taseki, you're going to move that tourniquet about two to three inches above the injury, are learning how to stop the bleed. And we could list every school shooting, give you statistics. Chances are you already get the idea. This is a different world we live in. Kids are growing up differently, and schools have to adapt. We have to think about the kids academically, socially, and emotionally, and now you're adding this other element. It starts at the top with administrators, people like John Lucido, telling me they've done police training. They've made it harder to get into schools. Now this, teachers learning stuff you'd expect a medic to do, but the reality is, if the worst day happens, these are the same people who will be the first to offer help. They'd already be there. It's just affecting the way we prepare ourselves um, for those things so we can still concentrate on what our true goals are. Which is still educating children. But to do it safely, nowadays, educators are wading through everything else just to do that original job. It's just important that we have the training and no, no one ever wants to think about something like this for sure. But if it happens, then we have to be prepared. It really truly is hard to watch this training being done because you can't help but have your mind wander and think they're training to use this on kids if they're shot inside of a school. It really tells you something about the world that we live in. Now you heard from Blagitsa, she's the teacher. Coming up tonight at six o'clock, we're actually gonna be going in depth about this training and looking at it from the perspective of a parent, how they feel that they're sending kids to school in this day and age and that's something that they have to do, but also how it's reassuring to them that Clarkston is taking that extra step. St. Joseph's has helped them train roughly 1,000 staffers across the entire district. We're distributing more information about that over at WXYZ.com right now. And hey, we are live in Clarkston this morning. I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. All right, better to be prepared and know what to do in the event of an emergency. It's still tough that we have to do it. It is. Matthew, thank you for that live report.